<laughs> oh, I am so glad to be back in the studio again. But, um, how do you find direction again? How do you pick up where you left off? And, you know, maybe that is it. Pick up where we left off. Uh, I was thinking ahead to summer at the farm market, doing a Mediterranean table in the heat of the summer. I've got oil pourers here. This is something I've never done before. Combined with the oil plates, it's just too hot, though, in the summer to fire a kiln. Um, I may try some raw glazing and see how that goes. These are small pieces and should be easy enough to glaze, unlike something large or something that would be easier to do with tongs and you'd want it to be bisked. Most of my firing though I will hold off till winter on most of my jug series. Um, let's see, I've got yeah pieces that were glazed and never fired on the bench here. I um, tested a number of glazes or no, this is the same glaze here on two different clay bodies and we've done that before. Um, and yeah, just uh, trying different clays, different glazes, different clay bodies. Um, if only I knew which was which now, I don't remember. Um, I've also fired some pots for uh, another potter and um, did it very simply, very cleanly. And his pots, the, the form shapes, very simple and clean. And um, hmm, very nice. I like that. <laughs> I also played it safe. I didn't want to ruin any of his pieces. And you know what? Let's see what... Okay, wait. There's something going on outside. Well, I think it's just a baby hawk. I think I have a nest in one of my trees just beyond where they were doing the logging. Yeah, you were... And um, that was a month ago. And I think it's left the nest. And maybe uh, Mom is out there teaching it or waiting to teach it how to fly. Okay, Ralph, come on, you have to go inside. Yeah. Oh, amazing. Just when I'm thinking about finding direction and taking flight. Um, where did we left leave off? We were on the edge of the nest here. Finding direction, taking flight. I've got um, motivation. I've got three years worth of journals we can go through. Actually, the first year. Um, I think the jugs first appeared in there. And uh, it was last year when I looked to uh, Picasso's ceramic jugs and sketched some of those out. I may do a book review. Here's the, his uh, ceramics and bring some influences from there into my jug series. But to get started, maybe I'll just do something simple like ceramic towel that I'd like to have samples so that uh, I could illustrate some of the patterns that you could put them through. I've uh, been selling a few of the, you know, the ones with just um, the drawings like animals on as um, coasters. And, um, yeah, the one thing, I, um, small batches of production in the summer, berry bowls, this newer big one I have already sold out on. Not that I made that many. I've always made tons of the little teeny ones because people like to buy cheap stuff. But the special order for this makes me think uh, maybe I should try doing them in a variety of styles since it's something I sell even the wavy bowls I've done that with the pie plates you know made them in three different sizes so um, rather than search out my um, one way of making the berry bowls I might try some variety on that so this is just a first flight after three months away it does feel a bit awkward. Maybe the clay is a bit stiff. I want to soar. <laughs> but this is a start. Okay. My life does follow the rhythms of the earth and the changing seasons that I've got more time to be in here in the winter than the summer, so that's when, you know, I do my big production, and if it requires a lot of work, like putting handles on and getting lids to match, so, um, but, and I usually don't do a lot of throwing this summer, I want to try to do a little bit, maybe small batches, like a special order, um, 
the, the oil plates, somebody, I didn't make any with the grooves in them or the rough parts to grate the garlic. Um, somebody requested that, so I'll have to make some of those. And my jug series that, um, you know, it was started to get more comfortable with a difficult form to throw. Um, now maybe I'll you know, do smaller batches of three following a specific type of jug or technique and try to be, yeah, get more technical about the process, putting them together or maybe more creative in the uh, idea, the form, the shape, decorating on it. I'd like to do something with the slips. I've um, <laughs> done face jugs influenced by the pieces from the southern states. I may take some influence from Picasso's jugs. And I'm worried about my friend outside. Will he soar? or take a first flight. How did he get there? Did he just come down from the nest? Um, I had noticed it last winter. I would noticed it a couple winters ago. Didn't know what it was. Um, and I thought I saw a squirrel up there once in the winter. But um, I noticed a hawk. Um, late, late winter. Early spring. Um, going in or out of there. And I'm worried about him. I think the first thing some people do is take them to the rescue place where they say, oh no, you're supposed to leave them alone, they're just fine, mom's out there, and actually it seems that uh, even if mom wasn't around with the locusts, that he actually can't help but to fall on a feast this year. Um, just like that's why I'm starting with a ball <laughs> because feeling a bit rusty but it seems like a ball even if we're doing everything wrong we can't help but the ball on a ball shape down to the bat and somehow I've got that this one all roughed up we'll scrape into that and clean it off Okay, belly that out a bit, and then we will flare out the rim. done them in the past. Um, I find it difficult to glaze. Uh, I'm just maybe going to put one glaze on some of these. Ok, 
Okay, so we're not soaring, but yeah. <laughs> okay, first day back. We've got our first flight. Well, look at that. This is a, several days later. This must be his natural perch. I guess growing up right behind me in the woods, just meters away from me. They've uh, got them in Pittsburgh on the buildings nesting and they even have cameras on them so hopefully he'll stay around take care of the mice and the rodents okay I've got a new friend thank you oh, it's such a relief to see him back um, because I was worried I didn't know if he was alright or not um, I these are um, drying out a lot slower in the summer that I'm used to them drying out in the winter. Um, so I need to get these turned over so that we can put the holes in them. And wow, that really stuck. I don't know, maybe um, from what I understand, I need a thicker wire um, so that that might help them release a little easier. I think a lot of people's um, reaction is to take them to a shelter somewhere where they can rescue them when mom was probably just waiting in the background the whole time. Okay, so you know, actually these need to dry out a little bit yet before we can put the holes in. So I will do some small hopefully production runs here through the summer. We will do smaller batches of the jug series. Try to get more creative with that and see if we can fly. With all the locusts, even if mom isn't around, there is no shortage of food this year. Do subscribe and stop back and watch us grow up together. There it is. There's my hawk's nest. <laughs>